Hey, Mark Rice here and today I will show you how to draw a flat city landscape. Let's start with the first layer. I will hit M on the keyboard and create one rectangle. Then I will go to the tool panel and select eyedropper tool or just hit I on the keyboard. So I will pick up the front layer color. Now I will start with creating the building. So I will hit M and start to create a random rectangle. I will create the rectangle here. One more here. And here. One will be here as well. I just created the basic shape of the front layer and now I will select these shapes and use Unite in the Pathfinder and create one object from those objects. Ok, hold shift plus alt and change the size. Then I will hit I on the keyboard and pick up the back layer color. Hit M and draw one rectangle here. Click with the right mouse button, go to range and send to back. So I just created the last layer. Between these layers I need to create two more layers. So I will pick up the color for the second layer and start creating. So hit M on the keyboard and start to create. I just started to create the second row of the buildings. But it's important to know that the shapes in the second row needs to be smaller than the shapes in the first row because they are further away. Ok, I will select the new shape together with the background and send to back. Now I will copy this shape with Ctrl plus C, paste it with Ctrl plus F or paste in place and move the shape and change the size. Ctrl plus C, Ctrl plus F and do this action till the end. Ok, the second row is finished and before I start with the third row, I will select the shapes from the second row and use Unite in the Pathfinder. Ok. Now I will pick up the color for the third row, so hit I on the keyboard, then hit M and start to draw. In the third row, the object needs to be even smaller. So you can select the new shapes together with the backgrounds and to back. Copy with Ctrl plus C and paste with Ctrl plus F. Ok, that's it now, I will select the new shapes, hold shift and select the background and the first two rows and unite the new shapes. Ok, that's it. Ok, beautiful, now I can delete these colors here and start with details. So for now I achieved the depth of the field with colors and different size of objects and now it's time to achieve that effect with details as well. So with the first row I will use 
two groups of the details. First will be for the windows and second for the object around the buildings. In the second row, I will draw just objects around the building without windows and the third row will be the same as now. At the end, I can add a few clouds in the sky and that's it. So, let's start with the first row. Okay. So first, I will hit I on the keyboard and pick up the color from the first row and make this color a little bit darker. So go here and add a little bit of black color. Now hit M on the keyboard and start to draw. Here I will create the rectangle. Then I will copy it. So hold Alt start to move it and that's it in order to repeat the last action hit ctrl d command i can do this one more time now hold shift select the shapes and group the shapes with ctrl g command okay if you want to go one step further, some of the buildings will have vertical windows and some of the buildings will have horizontal windows. So hit M and draw horizontal window here. Okay, now hold Alt, move it here and hit Ctrl D a few times. Okay, select the shapes and group it with Ctrl G. Here I will draw vertical windows as well. But this time will be thinner. Copy it, hold out, then move it. Ctrl D. Okay. Here I will create two sets of horizontal windows. Okay, I just created the rectangle. I will copy it, hold Alt, move it here. Then group the rectangles with Ctrl G. Now I need to copy the windows vertically, so hold Alt, move it here. And repeat the action with Ctrl D. Okay. Group it. Here I can create just one rectangle. Okay. More windows here. Here I will create just one rectangle as well. And I need more horizontal windows here. As you can see, our landscape has already got the right look. Okay, now I will select all, deselect the background and group the basic shape of the buildings in the first row together with the windows and group it with Ctrl G. Okay, so I finished the first group of the details. Now it's time for the second group and the second group will be details around the buildings. So let's start. Okay, so hit M on the keyboard and create one rectangle here. Here I will create one more, but this one will be lighter. Now I have better dynamic here. One more here. Here I will try to create balconies, so hit M and draw one rectangle here with the same color as the building. Now copy it, hold out. Move it here. And use Ctrl D to copy the shape. Okay. Now I will copy the one part 
of the balcons. Control C, paste it in place with Control F, hold Shift and move it here. And I can create two more rectangles on the top of the building. One will be here. And I can copy the shape. Hold out and move it here. Okay, beautiful. Here I can create one more rectangle. But we can use darker color for it. Here I will create one more. Okay. Now I will select the direct selection tool in the tool panel. Select this point here and make this corner round. Okay, hit M. Here I will create the balconies as well. I just created the rectangle and I need to copy the rectangle. So hit Alt, move it here and repeat the action with Ctrl D. Hold Shift, select the shapes and group it with Ctrl G. Hold Alt, move it here. Hold out, move it here as well. Okay, beautiful. Here I can add one more rectangle. One more here. One more here as well. And a few rectangles on the side of the building. Okay, cool. I just finished the first row and now it's time for the second row. So for the second row, I don't need windows, just a details around the buildings. And the details will be in the same color. So hit I on the keyboard, pick up the color, then hit M on the keyboard and start to draw. Here I will create some kind of antenna. Okay, one more rectangle here. I'll create one more here. Copy it with Ctrl C, Ctrl F command. Here I will create balconies. So draw the rectangle, copy it. Hold out, move it here. Repeat the action with Ctrl D. Copy the first shape one more time, hold out, move it here, hold out again, move it here, use Ctrl D, okay, one rectangle will be here, you can copy this rectangle, create one more here, here as well. And here I will create one more row of the balconies. So create the first rectangle. Copy it. Repeat the action with Ctrl D. And the second row is finished. The third row will be the same as it is now. And I will create a few rectangles in the sky for the clouds. So hit M. Draw the rectangle here. Hit I on the keyboard, pick up the sky color. Make it a lighter. And draw a few rectangles more. One will be here. And one here. Then select direct selection tool. Select the shape. Make these corners round. 
here as well and here as well okay and that's it our flat design city landscape is finished i hope that you like it if you like it stay tuned because the best is yet to come peace